that good? I like that. Okay. He's a teacher. Star starvation, suffocation, toxification. You're not falling asleep there, Mike, are you? Okay. Su starvation, suffocation, toxification. So your next question should be, why is the self starving? Toxic and suffocating, correct? Am I right? That should be the logical next question. Okay. Well, to understand that, we got to talk about the bread. See, the bread is very important. The bread has been missed. We're focusing on the raisin, and this is what human beings do. We focus. Do you know when you focus out of the middle of your eyes, you go into what's called beta state? Any hypnosis, hypnotists in the room? Hypnotists? No? No hypnotists? You're not owning up to it, probably. Hypnotists are sneaky. Okay, well, <laughs> well I study hypnosis because I like the mind, and there's something about uh, brain waves and hypnosis. And when you're concentrating and focus, you're in beta state. Beta state is when you're thinking and problem solving and concentrating. And you, if you're ever going crazy with your thoughts, that's beta state. Alpha state is a slower brainwave state, and that is on the outside part of your eyes. When you're not focusing, when you're only focusing peripherally, you're activating alpha state. We go through our lives focusing on the center and never missing the sides or the context. We're always focusing on the content and not the context. Does that make sense? You guys get that? The context gives you tremendous information. In the body, the content is the cell. And the cell is very important. That's the beta state. That's the center state. But on the sides around the cell, you have the matrix. And this matrix is amazing. Everything's amazing. Self amazing, of course. But the matrix is so amazing. Oh my God. It's where all the electricity is generated from. All the uh, growth, fat, all the chemical energy and all the electrical energy is generated from to drive the stuff happening in a cell. In fact, it's really not even separate. The, the cell that's sitting in a matrix, it's really, a, the cell is part of the matrix. It's not even really separate, but the, all of the uh, a power that's sustaining the cell, the nurturing, matrix means mother, by the way, all the nurturing power, it comes from the same word, all the nurturing power comes from the matrix. The food comes from the matrix. The hormones come from the matrix. The growth factors, are you picturing how this is happening here? You've got your raisins in here. Raisin bread doesn't do justice to it because raisin, they're, they're inert, but this is happening dynamically in the body. So you have the cells and they're being sustained and they're being fed and they're being breathed. Oxygen is coming in through the matrix. Are you with me? Is this, are we okay here? Okay. And then, and then the poisons are being drained. There's a little drainage system. The cell's doing its work really fast, really coordinated, really integrated with an amazing intelligence and it's producing wastes and the wastes get drained out and there's a little drainage system in the matrix. Please, come on. Are we okay? Is this cool? I mean, every time I even talk about it, I get blown away by this. You've got a drainage system that drains the waste away. And this is happening. Remember this is happening. One one hundredth the size of a head of a pen. One two hundredth the size of a head of a pen throughout your body. And so this stuff is being drained out and everything's happy until something happens. Something happens. Because this is a perfect system. This is a perfect system until something happens. And you know what that something is called? We are conceived. That's when that happens. It's when it all begins to go wrong is when we're conceived. Now, I'm being a little facetious, but it's when we're born, but for some people, it's in the womb. We begin to break down for uh, many people prenatally and for most people as soon as we're born. Because you see, something happens when we're born that it almost is like a mistake. Nature doesn't make mistakes, but something happens when we're born. You see, when we're born, we are born premature. We are born premature. Human beings have big heads. So we come out of the womb early. And because we come out of the womb early, nature has set up a system where we will mature, where she will mature, our, system, our, our, our body, through things that will come in through the diet. We come out with our digestive system and our immune system specifically premature. Mothers know this, your babies, they all have some kind of uh, digestive things going on. Most babies have digestive things going on. Colic, for example. So when we come out of the womb, what's supposed to happen is you get bathed in this, in this uh, bacterial bath when you come out the, out the birth canal, right? You guys know this? You come out the birth canal, you get bathed in this bacterial bath goo, and those bacteria go in your mouth and go in your nose, and they go down into your digestive tract, and from that point forward, you are, have your own personal bacterial family with you forever. That's your personal bacterial family. They make vitamins just for you. They detoxify just for you. 
They process fats and cholesterol and bile and hormones just for you. They're your own personal angels. They live right in your, in your digestive tract, right? And they implant at the time through your birth, through the birth pro birthing process, but they grow, nature's perfect, nature's wise, they grow and they're sustained by the most powerful food for humans on the planet. What is that? Breast milk. I'm t if you have a degenerative disease, people, go find a breast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> go find a breast. Hey, that's good. I'm serious. You can quote me on that. That stuff, that stuff is so building. Breast milk is so building. It's so anabolic. It is so powerful. It is so anti-aging. It makes you young again. That's what we should be doing. Now, I haven't figured out how to go about doing that. We're working on longevity, though. We're working on that. We got our scientists hard at work. No. <laughs> OK, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm talking about it breaks down at the digestive system level very early is what I'm talking about. We break down at a digestive system level very early. And this is where this whole uh, the uh, problems in the, at the bread level begin. See, the bread gets clogged very easily. And it especially gets clogged when poisons get into the body. This is the nexus of disease right here, people. The nexus of disease, this is where it begins, is right at the juncture of the intestine and the body. Your body, is a, your digestive system is a tube in the middle of your body. Your body is outside the tube. When that tube breaks down, foods literally enter into the body, and they enter specifically into the blood. Once they enter into the blood, all hell breaks loose. This is where we break down. This is where the disease process begins. This is where that clogging at the bread level, this is where the bread becomes clogged, because that's what happens. The bread becomes clogged. When you have a disease, you've got clogged bread. Can you picture this? This is a very important graphic. This is a very important thing for you to picture in your head. You've got clogged bread. Think of beautiful raisin bread and think of just dirt and gook and oil surrounding the raisins and you'll see why the raisins get sick and why they get starved and why they get suffocated and why they get toxic. Because the bread around them has clogged from stuff that's getting into the body through the digestive tract. And if you get sick of hearing me say, work on your digestion, when I, on the radio, I get sick of it too, but you gotta do it. But you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. So, the first thing that happens is the digestive system breaks down. Once the digestive system breaks down, it's a quick jump to the blood sugar system. Once your digestive system breaks down, it's a quick jump to the blood sugar system. And behind diabetes, you will find some kind of intestinal breakdown, usually with bacteria. And this is something that's just been, they're just finding out, although common sense will tell you, common sense will tell you, they're just finding it out from a research literature standpoint. If you Google, if you guys, and you're probably all into doing your research, so do your research, endotoxemia and diabetes, or endotoxemia and blood sugar, endotoxemia and, and insulin. Endo means inside, toxemia means toxins. This is endotoxemia, are toxins that are produced by the wrong kind of bacteria in your gut. By the wrong kind of bacteria in your gut. This is where disease, the starting point of all disease is wrong kinds of bacteria in your gut, which is why this probiotic thing is so important. So, but I'll get to that in a second. So then it's just a quick jump into blood sugar. And this is why diabetes, by the way, is a worldwide epidemic. It's a worldwide epidemic. You get endotoxemia, and what happens when you have endotoxemia is you get pancreatic breakdown, the pancreas can't make its insulin, your digestive system goes awry. Once your digestive system starts to become compromised and the bacteria become thrown off, then everything you eat feed the wrong bacteria, especially sugars, especially sugars. And this is called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Some of you may have heard of it, SIBO. And this is where you start to really get into big trouble is because the intestine is, becomes an a, 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 a inoculation petri dish for the wrong kind of bacteria. You are, have a petri dish just designed to grow the wrong kind of bacteria. And then you go into blood sugar issues, and after blood sugar issues, because the blood sugar goes up, the blood sugar goes down, there's a hormone in the body that's supposed to adjust, and that's called cortisol. Eventually, that's made by your adrenal glands, eventually your adrenals bust. Your adrenals are your stress glands. I call this the triangle of disease. And all disease is afterwards. All disease is after this triad of digestive breakdown, blood sugar breakdown, and then adrenal, I should tell you, thyroid breakdown because there's a relationship between the adrenals and the thyroid. The adrenals give you 
get up and go. You ever see the old movies or the old uh, caricature where the old lady picks up the car off the kid, right? You know that, that whole, anybody ever seen those? That kind of, kind of myth that's out there? Well, that's adrenaline that make, gives you that power. Your adrenal glands give you turbo energy. And they're only supposed to run turbo. They're not supposed to run all the time, but for many of us, they run all the time. Your thyroid, and women, listen up, because hypothyroidism is like an epidemic, especially for women, but also for men. The adrenal glands are, uh, are your, fight, uh, your uh, emergency energy glands. Your thyroid is your regular energy gland. And the fastest way to shut down your thyroid is to be hyperadrenal. The fastest way to shut down your thyroid, because your thyroid will compensate. So if you are hypo, a thyroid, if they've been told you got hypothyroidism, you need to focus on the adrenals and then the blood sugar and the digestive system, the whole triangle, really. And hypothyroidism is the jumping off point to everything. Behind all disease, you will find hypothyroidism, secondary to adrenal, blood sugar, and digestive. And that's the triangle of disease. Now, the point is, is that if you focus on the triangle, everything else will take care of itself. Your heart will take care of itself, your MS will take care of itself, your autoimmune disease will take care of itself. All of it, if you focus on the triangle. Now the problem is, is while I'm saying this to you guys, it's, not, it's a hard sell. It's not, you'll be like, but my bones. What about my bones? And I know because that's how people say it. They say that to me, but my bones, but my muscles, but my God. You have to have faith that the body can do it if you focus on the systems behind it. You have to have faith that the right fruit will grow if you take care of the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to understand that your body is healing. To, it's a built-in healing system. It's designed to heal. It's designed to heal, and you have to understand that. Once you understand that, then you can, you'll be like, there's no way I'm going to the doctor. But you see, we still, we say it, but it's still a jump to say, well, how is my bowel movements related to my bones? You understand what I'm saying? There's a disconnect on some level, and you have to understand the logic of this triangle of disease. You have to understand that, that your uh, 12,000 different diseases are the fruits, they're the leaves of the breakdown process that occurs at the core, and this is such good news. This is the most amazing news because, and this is why I call the program The Bright Side, because it means that we don't have to worry about all these different leaves. We don't have to worry about this leaf and this leaf and this leaf. We just have to worry about the root. And just like there's a tr or the tree or the root or the soil, however you want to look at it. And just like there's a triangle of disease, there's a square of health. You've got the triangle of disease, you've got the square of health. All right? The, the triangle of disease is the digestive system. The, the, uh, uh, and by the way, I'm going to take, I know some of you guys have questions. I want you, if you have questions, to ask in front of everybody. And I'm going to leave extra time for questions because I want everybody to hear everybody's questions because I want you guys to be able to do this yourself. I want you guys to hear your, your friends' problems and, and be able to troubleshoot and backtrack it yourself. So I want to take a lot of questions here tonight. Okay? So if you have questions, I will get to all of them. I'd rather you, have, you ask them while everybody can hear it rather than later. Okay, so triangle disease is the digestive system, the blood sugar, and the adrenal thyroid complex. I call it adrenal thyroid axis. Are we good on that? Does that make sense? It starts off at birth goes into the standard American diet, of course, and, and then it goes into blood sugar changes, and then it goes into adrenal stress, and then thyroid slows down, everything shuts down. Are we good? Yeah. That wasn't a very reassuring. Yeah. I want you to get that. Okay, triangle disease, yes? Yeah. Yes. yes in the back? Yes? Okay. So then you got the square of health. The square of health. Square of health, yes. Got that? Square of health. <laughs> square of health. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. Nutriate, that's all you need to know, okay? All you need to know. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest, okay? So let's take movement first, all right? Movement's very important. We have this culture where we talk about stress all the time. Oh, you got too much stress. Oh, you got so much stress in your life. When do you have the least amount of stress? Sleeping. Sleeping, no. <laughs> when you're dead. That's when you have the least amount of stress. Thank you. That's what somebody said it over there. When you're dead, because the life force is stress, the body grows under conditions of stress. It's a really cool, I've been doing this, I've been saying this for many years. And I remember I was at, uh, I, was at a uh, I was doing a talk in LA, and I, before the talk, I went to the magazine rack at the 7-Eleven, I picked up a Time magazine, ran the cover. It said, stress is your friend. We talked about stress, the importance of stress, how you use stress. There's a new book that just came out. It's called Anti-Fragile. You may ever see this? This guy made up a term for the, how, amazing the lack of, uh, how amazing stress is for building life, and he calls it anti-fragility. 
Anybody here has booked the, the Black Swan? Okay, well, in any case, today we're, we're under, you read the Black Swan? You heard